And now it is my greatest honor to present the Charlie Chaplin Britannia Award for Excellence in Comedy to Jim Carrey, my hero. Woo! Wow, thank you so much. That was very convincing. <laughs> I approve of this entire illusory manifestation. <laughs> I'm glad it didn't come in the mail. <laughs> kind of worked, it kind of worked, maybe a little soon. It is my job to try, Kate. Sorry. Yes, I no longer have packages delivered to my home in the great America that's been fashioned in the last couple of years. Uh, I don't remember it ever being this great, actually. Do you? Yeah. I want to express my sincere gratitude to BAFTA for this immense honor. Charlie Chaplin was truly an artistic and humanitarian hero of mine. Uh, he grew up in extreme poverty. His father was absent. His mother went into an asylum when he was 14 years old. My fault, sorry. <laughs> it's pretty stirring stuff. Uh, no, but that kind of pain turns some people, as we've seen lately, into monsters. <laughs> and others into fountains of creativity. Chaplin alchemized his pain, turned it into art. Exquisite, timeless, healing art. Very few people know that the Tramp character's funny walk was because he had worn through the soles of his shoes. He was in pain and trying to avoid the blisters trying to stay off his feet. You know, with, without empathy like that, this character would never have existed. Without empathy, we won't either. And with modern times, he criticized capitalism without a conscience. And that's what we have now. We have capitalism without a conscience. He showed the common man being fed through gears of the brutal, dehumanizing industrial age. He took on the American right wing of his day, its worst evils, hatred of immigrants, contempt for the truth, greed, and the abuse of power. We are fighting those same evils today. in America, in the United Kingdom, across the globe. And we need to be clear, shamelessness is not and will never be a superpower. <clears throat> it is the mark of a villain. Kidnapping children is not what great nations do. Almost half of America at this moment believes there is a sinister deep state diabolically plotting to what? Give them health care? <laughs> what is the sinister plan here? Sure, I can afford the miracle drug for le restless leg syndrome. <laughs> I should take the pills, I guess. We in America are misinformed. Reality shows have warped our idea of what a hero is or what the truth is. So tonight, I'd like to dedicate this award to those who remind us of our virtues, who remind us of the truth, 
to Sir Charles Chaplin, who battled McCarthyism into exile, to Christopher Steele, who tried to pull a thorn out of the paw of an ungrateful beast, to Christine Blasey Ford, to Colin Kaepernick. He'll stand for the anthem when the anthem stands for him. And to one of my friends, my good friends, and one of the greatest artists of our time, Robert De Niro, whose life was threatened also this week, along with many other incredibly decent people who bring joy to the world, who've been dedicated to it for years, for decades. How dare they besmirch those people? How dare they? We can do better than this. I know this wasn't funny, but it's not very funny right now. And I want it to be, and I will be again. But God damn it! Let's get the balance back, okay? In November? Let's get the balance back. Thank you so much. This is a, tr a tremendous honor. Thank you, Peter Farrelly, who is responsible for some of the great moments of my life. Thank you to my daughter, Jane, who is my tether to this world and everything valuable in it. Thank you, Jeff, for being here. John Rigney, my, one of my oldest friends. Dan Aloney, my agent. Thank you all. I love you so dearly. And I'm so honored to be included amongst these recipients. I can't believe it. Thank you.